These are filters by Polar Pro for the DJI Osmos Pocket 3. They are neutral density polarizers at 8, 32, and 128. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name's Matt, this is Dwyer Creatives, and these are filters by Polar Pro for the DJI Osmos Pocket 3. I have gone over these a little bit in unboxing my first impressions, but I wanted to do a review of them. So let's start with a uh, two minute Tuesday. These are the Polar Pro filters for the DJI Osmos Pocket 3. They are a neutral density filter at 8, 32, and 128, and they do have the circle of polarizer. Over the weekend, we are out, and while we were at the Botanical Gardens, I decided to do some test footage because I still am working on testing out the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. All the test footage that I'm going to be showing will be at the lowest ISO I can get and at 24 frames and of course that's going to be fixed at f2. It was about midday to mid afternoon and the sun was out so it was pretty bright minimal cloud coverage and you'll see these clips here pretty bright and there's nothing you can really do to darken it except increase the shutter speed which is something that I didn't want to do and hence the uh, filters would come into play. So I am going to include some test footage of just them with each level of the filters. Here you're going to see the DJI Osmos Pocket 3 shooting at its regular settings. Again, Pro Mode, ISO 50, 24 frames, and at the F2. So this is it without a filter. This is it with a neutral density at 8. This is it with the neutral density at 32. And this is it with a neutral density at 128. So personally, the 8 and 32 would have worked well with me. The 128 would have been for a super bright day with no cloud coverage. Walking around, I would keep my DJI Oswald Pocket 3 in the little hard case it has. This thing works perfectly, feels protected, snaps right in there, good to go. Now when you turn the camera off and the gimbal folds into itself, it's going to be like with the wide angle lens. It's not going to be fully able to close up. So I took mine off when I was not using it and put it back in my pocket and ran both of them separately. So he had the gimbal in the case, filters in the case, right? Easiest thing to do. That way you know they're both protected. Otherwise you have to leave it on there with the camera facing down inward to the case, which you can do that. I would be concerned of that getting scratched up in there. So I would advise against doing that. That's just one thing I noticed. If you could have it where you could just take it out and good to go, that would be ideal, but just something to note. When it comes to editing it, I don't notice any color shifting, which I have dealt with with some other brands. Magenta shifts, a green shift. This is a huge reason why I do like Polar Pro and willing to spend a little bit extra to make sure that there isn't that shift. So that wraps up our 2 Minute Tuesday and looks like we went a little bit over. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave those below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.